Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, on behalf of the Digibyte Foundation. And today I want to talk to you about everything we know about Facebook's massive security breach, and in particular, like I shared on Twitter, about how DigiID could have mitigated a lot of these issues. So, we'll quickly skim down through this article here on Wired. Long story short, this impacted almost 50 million user accounts. Uh, we come down a little bit further and we see that Facebook automatically logged out 90 million Facebook users from their accounts. So that's a lot of people. Uh, I was one of those affected people. I got a pop-up on my cell phone basically saying, sorry, your session is no longer valid. Uh, same for my wife on her tablet. It popped up and said, you've got to log in again. Now, the reason that this was uh, such a big problem, I suppose, is if we look down the bottom here. Now, uh, Wired kind of overlook it a little bit. It says here, later Friday, Facebook also confirmed that third-party sites that those users logged into their Facebook accounts could also be affected. So what does this mean? Now, this is the really, like, the biggest part of it. So if you'd previously logged in with your Facebook account to somewhere else, like, let me bring this up really quickly and show you. Here's Instagram. When you go to Instagram, uh, originally you could only basically log in with your Facebook account. So you'll click here and it says log in with Facebook. Now, when you go to log in with Facebook, it takes you to this log in to Facebook page. If you have logged in to Instagram and you are one of those affected accounts, then basically the attacker has access to your Instagram account as well as your Facebook. Now, what if you've logged in somewhere else? Like, let's say uh, there's another local kind of, uh, let's say some forums or, in fact, I'm pretty sure you can even sign into Twitter with your Facebook account. This is really big because any third party site that you use to log in with your Facebook account, the attackers basically have access to your stuff, to your login and can pretend to be you. So how does DigiID improve upon this? Well, it basically DigiID generates a unique and an independent login for each and every single website that you visit. So I'll show you here, we have a DigiID demonstration. So what I'll do is I'll kind of, I'll hold up my cell phone here as a bit of a, an example, and I'll bring up the, the wallet here. So if we click on sign me in with my DigiByte address, what we're going to do is I'm going to, I've got my cell phone here and I'm going to tap on the button down the bottom here for DigiID. So if I tap on this and I'll scan the QR code, now it's going to ask me, do I want to sign in? It's going to ask me to verify and validate before it actually does anything. So we can see here, Am I sure I want to sign in? So what I'll do is I'll touch the sensor here. We can see the tick and it's going to sign in. It says DigiID success at the bottom. Now, take note here of this particular address. So it says DR3 and then all of the rest of the address. Now we're going to go to another demo site here and we'll quickly just refresh this one as well. This is a much more kind of cut down site. And again, with the cell phone, what I'm going to do is tap on the DigiID button. I'm going to quickly scan this QR code it's going to pop up the top here and say, do I want to sign in? And I'll say yes. And so what we're going to see now is the website will refresh and it's going to log me in. Now, what have you noticed about these two different addresses? This one starts with DSS and ends with SNO. This one is completely different. Now, why is this so important? Basically, because what happens is every time you go to a DigiID website, it's going to include the details of the server URL into the address that you see then on the screen that the website themselves are given. So I'll show you over here as well on another demo site. Let's quickly refresh this. And so if I tap on sign in with DigiID, I'm going to scan this. Now, the key part here, I'm not too sure if we can see this, is it says on the screen here, enter your pin to sign into orlab.org. So if I tap my finger on it on the back there, it's gonna say I'm signing in. Now, again here, this is a, I've already signed in previously to this website, so it's going to greet me and it's going to say, welcome chilling silence. Every single one of these three websites has a completely different uh, public address for me. So this one has a different public address from this website, which has a different one from this website. Now, all of them are done on my same cell phone using DigiID, my same wallet recovery phrase, there's no change, no nothing. But why this matters is that each website gets a different set of credentials. They're not shared in between any of them. And in fact, they're actually completely separate. So unless I specifically give this website 
my email address let me also give this website my email address in the event that there is any kind of a security breach on one of those websites for example or let's say that they actually try and sell my data let's say they give it to Cambridge Analytica not that anybody would ever do that anyway if they were to try and sell my data maybe to advertisers or anything else those advertisers basically will get an address they're not going to have anything specifically helpful that's going to help them identify that this is me and that this is also me and that's taking a couple of different things that this particular advertiser might have bought from over the internet they can't kind of piece it all together and form a digital identity for me so DigiID also helps protect your anonymity as well as helps protect your security now in addition to uh, helping protect your security what I'll do is I'll quickly show you here on Facebook what you want to do is you want to click on the settings up the top here the little arrow and then you want to click on security and login now down here what you really want to do is you want to click on use two-factor authentication unfortunately even if you had this two-factor authentication the people could still have viewed your profile and found out all your details in fact there's even uh, estimation that they could have found your messages and things like that as well all of your private instant messages uh, and it wouldn't have also prevented them from logging into the websites as you however if you had been using DigiID let's say Facebook and Instagram both implemented DigiID you would sign in to Facebook with your DigiID and then independently again with your DigiID to Instagram because you're not using that one social login to sign into everything it doesn't matter if your Facebook account gets hacked or if a third-party person gets it although the the chances I suppose of them ever finding your username and password are practically nil if you are using DigiID because you sign in with your cell phone which again uses the same security and the same credentials and the same what's the best way of explaining this the same cryptographic uh, mathematical protection that you get with your private keys that protects your your digibyte your Bitcoin is the same sort of thing that protects your logins so you know that nobody's about to magically guess your logins and login is you or it can't be reused elsewhere even so yeah although Facebook have some uh, obviously <laughs> glaring security issues to overcome if you do find a website like this that has a digi id authentication login option you can rest easy knowing that the credentials can't be reused elsewhere or that if an attacker were to somehow get into the server for this one particular website or building sign in or game or other application they don't have your credentials to use anywhere else at all so i hope this video has been helpful i hope it's been uh, insightful i hope you've learned a thing or two if you'd like to find out more about digiid head on over to digi-id.io and click on this video here see how it works and it will tell you a little bit more just about uh digiid and about uh how how you can use it and it's a really great introduction to send to both your friends uh, family as well as to any particular business or website owner or even for building security uh, to, to talk to them about implementing DigiID to help make a better and a more secure internet. So I'll talk to you in the next video. Until next time.